I'm bringing you guys the new format into this episode. Week 5, 6, and 7 will be covered in this episode. What is going on, everybody? It's your boy, Onto the Boss here. Let's go ahead and kick off week number 5. And I'm going to field this uh, kick return at about the 3-yard line. Let's go ahead and try to return this one for a touchdown. Uh-oh. Let me try to hurdle and World Star. I told you guys I was going to be on World Star Hip Hop. And look at this. I mean, this is the first time that my guy has gotten embarrassed in front of the public you know he's been doing good all year long except this has been one of the only embarrassing highlight plays of his high school career so far so we're gonna try to recover from this and uh, we're gonna go back into the gameplay right now and see what's gonna happen here so here comes our first possession we're gonna do a wildcat and it has been working all year long but that time they were able to bring us down for no gain but I'm still able to come out here get another rushing play for a first down and uh, you know the outside plays have been working and look at that nice spin move and uh, you know looking at those juke moves I absolutely cannot wait until I can upgrade the stats of my guy and uh, if you guys didn't know uh, once you get into your college career once you choose your school that's when you'll be able to purchase packs that will basically upgrade your attributes. So I just cannot wait for that whatsoever. So we're faced with a third and nine situation. Quarterback is gonna let it go. My receiver is right there with the reception, but we are still faced with a four to one opportunity. I don't know why the defensive tackle did not make that tackle right there, but I'm able to go in for the first touchdown of the game. So there's a reason why this team, and I'm talking about Baltimore, there's a reason why they are undefeated 4-0 going into this game, and that is because of their defense. I mean, early on in the second quarter, we could not buy a pass, any pass whatsoever to get a first down, and we kept going 3 and out, 3 and out, and once again, here we go 3 and out, and here comes a punting opportunity, and I was like, should I return this or not? And whenever, once I decided, you know, I fumbled the ball, but luckily, I got it back. So we have two minutes right here to get something going. Finally, I pick up a first down. Let's go ahead and do this wildcat play to the right side of the field. Ah, they got me down on the play. So that was only a one-yard rush. And then third and six here, they get me down once again. So still no luck right here. And we're going to go ahead and advance into the second half. The score is now six to seven. Here we go, 39 seconds. Oh, my God, I just need a one, just one break. Let's see what's going to happen here. Second and seven. Oh, there we go. We break one tackle. And now it is going to be a third and three opportunity. Let's see if we're going to catch this first down. And yes, I cut into, you know, I tried to do a little juke move. It did not work. But I luckily pick up the first down. And here we go. A huge gain right here. You see all the missed tackles. And I break yet another tackle. 36 rushers. Rushing yards, should I say. And uh, we're going to do a wildcat play right here. Uh-oh. Could we go in for a touchdown? I'm running out of energy. And they get me down at the one yard line so we're gonna repeat that play and this time we are going oh look at me stopping at the one yard line but we go in for yet another touchdown and we actually needed that touchdown so it was perfect timing so we get the ball back right here with a minute remaining in the fourth quarter and we're gonna try to get at least one first down one first down would do it because they have three timeouts remaining so one of their timeouts is out of the picture and I pick up a first down and that is exactly what we needed. So we came out here, all we had to do was a kneel down and that is it. 4-0 Baltimore comes here in our own stadium and we delivered their first loss of the season. So 42 carries, 175 yards and two touchdowns helped us get a victory here in week number five. So as we advance into the main menu, you see Oregon is uh, offering me a scholarship. So they, I think they were interested in me last week. So that was pretty quick for them to offer me a scholarship already. Then we got Missouri, Georgia Tech, and Tennessee. I decided to go ahead and pick Missouri Tigers. So let's go ahead and kick off week number six against Aspen Hill. They have a three and two record. So this one should be pretty easy. Here comes first quarter of action. I'm doing a little too much right there. That could have been easily a first down. But because of my juke move, uh, I was only short of a first down. But you see, I made up for my mistake right there. I get a huge rushing gain. And we are posted up at the 28-yard line. This touchdown reception. Ooh, I thought I was going to be a touchdown reception. But a pretty good reception right there. 13 yards on the gain. And then finally, I'm going to punch it in with a 10-yard rushing gain right there. And already, you know, early on in the first quarter... We're already up 7 and nothing Now as we advance into the second quarter, we're going to try to keep the same thing going right here. Quarterback is stepping back and he gives it to me. No one was open on the play and I secure yet another first down. 
So what's going to happen here? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. They're right there to make the tackle, but yet another first down. It just seems to be the yak for my guy. I mean, and whenever it comes down to the receptions, the yak has been what's been vital for my guy. So here we are, second and one now, and that is going to be yet another first down. It's starting to look too easy for my guy. And finally, to wrap up the possession, ooh, that was a pretty good tackle on them. So they are going to make us face with a third and goal. And I still did a hurdle on a play. You know, I was thinking twice. You guys saw what happened on World Star. So I was thinking twice about it, but I go in for yet another touchdown. So we simulate, and we're going to go ahead and go into late first half two minutes to work with here and my guy is trying to punch in another touchdown we're trying to you know end the game already in the first half you barely get those opportunities but if we can actually go into the locker room with 21 to nothing i'm pretty sure my defense is gonna hold up so that is exactly what we do the score is now 21 to nothing and it has been a blowout and you can see aspen hill could not put a score up on the board and that is probably one of the easiest victories that we faced with and 65 carries for my guy i don't know what the coach is thinking my legs are gonna burn out before i reach college so missouri tigers have offered me a scholarship and now it is time to find out who the next three schools are so we get byu louisville and then oklahoma uh this one was a little hard uh, i didn't want to do byu uh louisville i've done a road to glory with them you guys know i did a michael vick road to glory so i was like you know what let me go ahead and uh pick oklahoma sooner than that is a team that i picked so now as we prepare for week number seven we got cockies yeah, don't make jokes now we got Cockeysville 0 and 6. So what the heck is going on with that team? So I decided to go ahead and change up uh, my visor. Uh, we're going to go ahead and see what's going to happen here. Punt return opportunity. There we go. Let's try to take this one for a touchdown. We haven't done it all year long. Uh-oh. Ah, they get me down. And uh-oh, there's a flag on the play. So let's see who the flag is on. And it is a clipping on my strong safety. Are you kidding me? How do you even do a clipping in this game? Somebody explain to me. So here we are on our first possession, five minutes left into the first quarter. We're going to do a counter play right here, and this should get me the first down. Ooh, look at that juke move. That one got the defender. So here comes a wildcat play, and oh my goodness, all we need is speed on this play. All we need is speed, and that is, you know, they were able to get me down because of my lack of speed right there. But another clipping play? Are you kidding me? So that is going to back us up all the way at the 15-yard line. But luckily, this rushing play right here, there was literally nobody on the left side of the field. And uh, with my vision, I was able to notice that before the quarterback even hiked the ball. And that is how we get the game started. So we're going to keep the same play going. And uh, you see they have seven points up on the board. So they're trying to intimidate us right here. They're definitely trying to intimidate us. And their defense right now is looking pretty strong. So here comes third and 12. My quarterback is stepping back. I called for the ball there. And oh uh, my, that is an easy first down at the 51-yard line. So we're going to get a second and three opportunity here. Look at this. Nobody is ahead of me. My offensive line did their job. And that is going to be rushing play touchdown numero dos and the score is now 14 to 7 so as we advance into the second half you guys see the score is now tied up 14 to 14 and we are going to advance into the fourth quarter now so everything is on the line right here every single play counts every single possession counts as well so we're just going to take advantage of this opportunity so whatever we can get from this is what we'll take we need at least a field goal and look at that wildcat which is going to take me out to the 23 yard line third and 10 here quarterback lets it go perfect pass and perfect catch i'm going to be stopped at the five yard line so hopefully this one can make us punch it in and that is exactly what we do and we take the lead once again the score is now 21 to 14 but as i simulated we got the ball back with two minutes remaining they have three timeouts left so you guys know the drill all we need is a timeout right here so let's see if we're gonna oh actually all we need is a first down what am i saying so third and 12 we don't get it and we have one more opportunity right here they have one timeout left so third and 12 i get stopped but they wasted a third timeout so they have no timeouts remaining let's simulate and see what's gonna happen and my defense came out clutch in this one as we get back to back to back victories here in week number seven 
and we are going to be now headed to the playoffs with a lot of confidence this is exactly how you want to end the regular season so Oklahoma Sooners have offered me a scholarship and next up the three teams that are interested in me we got Alabama Auburn and Boise State and I don't know how you could pass up on Alabama that is why I decided to go ahead and select them so in the next episode we will start the playoffs round number one If you guys want to stay updated on when all of my videos will be uploaded, make sure you follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash onto the boss.